J.M.W. Turner remains one of England's most well-known artists. The 2014 film Mr. Turner, which detailed aspects of his life, and the opening in 2011 of the Turner Contemporary Gallery in Margate, are both testament to his enduring popularity. Turner was born in London in April 1775, and he went on to exhibit his first work at the Royal Academy of Art when he was just 15 years old. He had a long career both as an artist and as a teacher, um, serving as Professor of Perspective at the Royal Academy. His career was not without controversy. He was regarded as an eccentric, and his reclusive and private nature was at odds with his growing fame and status as an artist. And despite his success, Turner died in poverty in 1851. Today, Turner is best known for his atmospheric landscapes and his turbulent seascapes, which demonstrate his great skill in capturing the forces of nature in paint. Early in his career, though, he developed a keen interest in architecture and in architectural drawing. And Turner's architectural interests are clear to see in the great level of detail which he's picked out in the buildings in this well-known painting from our collection, which is titled High Green Wolverhampton. In 1794, Turner visited the Midlands, and it's during this trip that he would have passed through Wolverhampton and captured this scene. Probably he would have sketched it in one of his numerous sketchbooks, which he kept whilst on his travels, before transferring it um, into paint in his studio. The painting captures the annual fair, which was traditionally held in Wolverhampton, on the 9th of July and lasted for around eight days. Turner masterfully conveys the bustle and the busyness of the scene. In the foreground we see people playing popular games, amongst stalls selling a variety of different goods. There are musicians and entertainers performing on colourfully decorated stages and people are looking down from open windows uh, in nearby buildings around the square. The site that was once called High Green is known today as Queen Square. It was renamed in honour of Queen Victoria following her visit to Wolverhampton in 1866 to unveil the famous Man on the Horse statue, the equestrian statue of her husband Prince Albert, which still stands in the square to this day. For centuries this area has been a focal point for the city, playing host to busy markets like the one depicted by Turner here, as well as more gruesome events, including public executions. Although many of the buildings depicted by Turner have since disappeared, this scene is still recognisable to Wolverhampton residents today. In the background, we can see the Great Tower of St Peter's Church, which still dominates the Wolverhampton skyline. Standing on the high street today and looking towards Queen Square with the church beyond, it's not difficult to imagine ourselves standing in the busy setting depicted here by Turner. To find out more about this painting and other works in our collection, please visit the Wolverhampton Arts and Culture website.